Hello, my darlings. My name is Victoria and this is Veritas Tarot. Taurus, I'm going to do your spring reading for you. Before I start, I just wanted to say I apologise deeply for not being able to do a reading for you for a long time. I have had COVID that has set me back, um, but I'm back now and uh, I'm really looking forward to doing this reading for you. Thank you to all of you who have given such lovely messages of love and support whilst I've been away. I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you, my darling, so much. So I'm going to be doing uh, a reading for you. For those that most need to hear it, we're going to be looking at where you are right now, how you're feeling, what is it you're most wishing for, spirit's advice for you. And if you choose to try and um, live by spirit's advice, you know, what the potential outcome could be for you, because energy always shifts and changes. And we are energy. So if we shift, then things shift for us. Um, and if you resonate with these messages, it's simply because spirit has guided you to see it exactly the right time for you. Your soul has guided you to hear these messages because in hearing and resonating with the messages, you are remembering what you already know, my darling. Each of us is our own guru, but we forget things. And this is the part of the soul's journey to remember what it already knows. So if it resonates with you, then it is for you at this time. If it doesn't resonate for you, then it is simply, um, and Spirit is saying healing, the healing card came out. If it is uh, not for you at this time, it simply means that Spirit will guide you at another time to watch a reading at exactly the right time for you. So my darlings, let's move ahead with the reading. And this is for Vir this sorry not for Virgo maybe you're dealing with a Virgo but this is for Taurus for those that most need to hear these messages thank you spirit which card do you want to come out maybe the healing card I just saw the healing card again but let's see what they want to come out and again I saw the healing card so I'm sure it will come out in this reading there we go so you have got two cards here but I am we just want one spirit thank you just want one Well, I hope you are all well as we're waiting for this card to come out. There it is. So this is how you feel about yourself and the world. Beautiful start, um, powerful start for you as well. And something that has had a deep impact on you. I want to first of all pull the card at the bottom of the deck. This is number one, the world card. You have walked away from something huge. And it has been a, a difficult journey. It feels like you are alone at this time. But remember, when you are alone, it's because God, the universe, wants to spend time with you. And it's only in the silence that we can really, truly heal. Sometimes we need to just distance ourselves. You know, we can't heal in the place that we were hurt. But also, sometimes we have to be in solitude, we feel we need to be in solitude and do this journey on our own, because actually, the true insights come through in the silence, not from doing, you know, sometimes a lot of doing is a trauma based response on things that are happening. And I, and I feel like this is and, and the other card is the wisdom keeper. Um, I feel like this has happened, not recently recently but it's still very much part of your journey the energy is still very much there and it's the end you know this journey this this where you are right now is sort of the end of maybe some illusions you had about yourself the end of um ways of trying to control things and holding on to things and seeing that it, it was all just sort of disappearing anyway however much you were clinging on to it and this is the end of that for you you're sort of breaking free from that and i want you to show you uh, how determined she looks in this card as well. Um, there are oak trees there in the background too, which talks about, you know, the, the oak starts as the acorn and there are, everybody is at various stages of their life as an, as an oak, as an acorn or an oak equally as beautiful. Um, but the oak trees uh, roots go as deep as the branches go high and it and it's it's a protective tree it's a beautiful tree that can withstand so much so there's a great deal of determination and strength within you at this time and you've you've made a choice for yourself that is changing everything in your life and however um difficult it has been you know that this has been the right choice that you have made um and then the reason I'm also seeing that is because you've got here the wisdom keeper. And I feel at this time for you that you are looking back at your life and looking at where you have come and what you have done and things that you feel that you may have 
failed at, I'm going to say that word, things that you feel that you may have achieved, you're coming to get, you're coming home to yourself, you're getting to know yourself. And you know what, there are no, part of the whole thing about um, enlightenment is, is, is sort of that understanding that you're perfect just as you are. Everything that's happened is meant to have has meant to have happened for you. There's nowhere that you need to go. There's nothing that you need to do. There's nobody else that you need to be or you should be other than who you are right now. And you're coming into that acceptance with appreciation for what it is that you have, where you've shifted into, what priorities you have now for yourself, what authenticity that you you have now for yourself, all of these things that may have got lost in a while, in, for a while, um, but things sometimes have to disappear from our lives, sometimes quite radically, in order for us to make that change, because we only make shifts and changes through going through experiences that we actually feel it within us. That's why nobody can fix another. We have You have to do it yourself. You have to make the choice to do it for yourself. And so spirit is asking you, you know, to look at, continue to look at that journey to what have you discovered about yourself, about others, about your dark and light, about others' dark and light? What have you discovered about what's important for you? Uh, what have you discovered about holding on to things as opposed to letting go of them and feeling that peace and relief that when you do that? Um, and you are receiving this wisdom. And you are continuing to be ready to receive this wisdom. And I and I applaud you because it's an amazingly powerful, empowered place to be. It can be very lonely at times, but you, you're putting yourself first and you're doing this for yourself. And that's absolutely stunning. So this is how you feel about yourself. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So what am I going to pull? I'm picking up the lights here. So I'm obviously determined to do that. <laughs> um, look at that. Six of Swords has come out for you. So the Six of Swords is that you're coming away now from as much solitude as you've been in. There has been a lot of hermit mode for you. And now with the Six of Swords, you're moving in a direction that feels right for you. And where you haven't been able to control the environment around you, now you're able to control how you respond. So where you were reacting before, now you're responding. I know that makes sense to those that this is resonating with. And you are allowing... A little bit of magic, a little bit of secrets of the universe, as signs of synchronicities to guide you. You're feeling your way around this, this where you are right now in your life. And you're going at a pace that's a nature's pace as well, which is fantastic. So that is where you are. So now let's look at. Thank you, spirit. Let's look at um, what do you most want? Thank you. I think where before you felt a lot of stress and anxiety, now you're in much more of a place of peace. Thank you for Taurus. Thank you. I think one of the things that I'm receiving is that, you know, one of the biggest things that you've learned is the, is the, is the lesson that it's almost the, the assumption that others think the way that you do or we do it's it's everybody has their own direct, direct perception of life everybody either reacts or responds to life from a place of reaction or a place of observance and then responding everybody is um triggered in life by things that they haven't healed from um and i think this is something that you are uh truly beginning now to understand and you're not wasting energy on now on things that you can't control you've gone into the will of the universe now so what do you most want my darling what does taurus most want spirit oh, they're being stubborn what do you most want there we go healing you want a way out of this is so you've got the maze card came out as well so there has been a recent storm a recent upset a recent sudden change but you know storms come in to clear things they come into clear energy they come to make a new fresh start and if you can see what's happened recently, which I know you do, is something that it was necessary for you to make a, a different shift in perspective about yourself and about others and to come into a different space of being able to receive, to release, relax, receive. And this is the maze card. So 
whilst you're not quite sure which way to move forward, whilst you're in this space of it doesn't really seem if there's a very clear way forward, spirit is saying that's because you're exactly where you are meant to be right now. And if you're going to move forward, move forward in a way that is not trying to control it, not trying to force it. It's it's my my I was given a new way of saying let go and let God. It's the Wu Wei approach. It's the acting in accordance with the way that things exist. You don't force a lock, you jiggle it, otherwise you could break it. Um, and so just act as things are at the moment. And if there isn't a great deal doing, going on, then don't do anything. The only time spirit is asking you to act is when you really truly feel you have a, a sort of um, a burst of beautiful creative energy about something and you know it's the right thing to do. But otherwise, act in accordance with the way things are and let go of your perceived need to to, to control in order to feel safe, trust that the universe is guiding you through this time. And then you've got the star card. So you're, the reason why you're, you're at a standstill is because your desire for healing is, is bringing you to a standstill right now. And this is important. It's the desire to sit within your feelings, uh, to um, kind of listen more and talk less, to be in that receiving space, to immerse yourself in a place of, understanding what has happened but understanding what has happened from a place of true understanding of yourself and whatever it is is that you'll have misunderstood whether it's a person or an experience or whatever it is but understanding there are always kind of the dark side and the lighter side there are always contrasts there's always necessary conflict within our lives in order for us to evolve ourselves always have a conflict going on within our bodies but we're at a bliss point above that but if we got too involved we might start to take sides and it wouldn't be great for us would it so understanding that there is always a necessary conflict and um that sometimes our demand our permanence for happiness is what causes the most unhappiness and there are always cycles we go through this we sit in nature all the time so it's um it's a beautiful card to have this star card here because it talks about hopes and blessings and things coming in for you but it's where you are right now is beginning to understand yourself so that therefore you are then able to step forward to be this next greatest grandest version of you in a, in a different energy space let's see what else comes out for you thank you from spirit what does taurus most want four of cups so the four of cups and there again is that oak tree my darling and there is that sort of rainbow color coming through there have been some karmic cycles for you okay there have been things that maybe you have repeated over and over again and whatever's happened has brought you now to this space of um really understanding what it is that you have responded to or reacted to in the past and what it is that you're looking for now the four of cups is a card from spirit to say, do you know what? Try not to have any regrets about the past. Try not to have any remorse about the past. That again is the acceptance. That is the complete absence of resistance to say that, you know, everything that's happened, everything I have done, everything somebody else has done has happened for a reason. And it's happened for my soul's evolution and for their soul's evolution as well. And they may, I mean, I may not completely understand it, but I accept that in this present moment. And that's the ego falling away. And that's you coming into a connection within yourself and allowing yourself to do it with the universe's will, to God's will, to move forward with an appreciation and a gratitude for whatever, however com uncomfortable it's been, because you know it's for you. It's, it's for you to shift things that have weighed heavily on you, burdens that are weighed heavily on your anxieties you know when you feel like you walk on eggshells you're trying to please people you're looking for love all of those things that is the universe has guided you to start to be aware of of actually looking at it from a different wider perspective and it is happening for you it's how you choose to receive it that is the gift and i know that you want to make a shift within you i know you want to release a lot of these burdens this is why you have the maze and the wisdom keepers come out straight away for you um and you are in touch with your intuition with your soul do you see the light 
that's coming out of that one bowl that's been handed to you. You are touching it. It is so close to you. Spirit is saying, keep doing what you're doing. Keep being in the space that you're in. Try not to be impatient about what is coming in next, because you know what? When we don't know something, then we don't have a tendency to hold on to it. And if we don't hold on to it, then it can come in for us because the unknown provides the extraordinary array of possibilities and we're not attached to them because they just come in. So this is that hopes and blessings there as well. And I feel like your energy is more balanced now too. Uh, so beautiful, beautiful card. Um, so that was for what you're most wanting. Now we're going to be looking at advice from spirit for you. Thank you. No regrets, darling. No remorse. It all is as it should be. No, and you have already come so far, and, and one day you'll realize just quite how far you have come up until now. So look at this advice from spirit. Did I put that back in the deck? That is the strangest thing. Um, anyway, uh, you've got the world card has come out again. So apologies if that has already come out, but I'm sure I said that before. But anyway. This is the advice from spirit, you know, to continue to, this is the end of uh, the way that you have tried to control life out of fear of losing it. The end of those illusions, this is you breaking free. The spirit is saying, keep doing that. You've got so much determination. You've made a choice that is going to change everything. It's going to flip it upside down for you in the most beautiful way. Uh, so now let's see what, um, where is it? Which deck is it? Where's my deck gone? Oh, they've hidden that deck from me. <laughs> it's here. Thank you, Spirit. Advice from Spirit with the light says, thank you regarding the world card. You know, sometimes relationships that we have in the star card come out again. Sometimes relationships that we have cover up the pain that was already there within us. Um, and eventually those 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 painful feelings once and I feel like this is a relationship for you but eventually those painful feelings that were submerged come up to the surface and then we assign those to that person but actually they're already there and I think you're beginning to realize this uh you've got the star card has come out again for you so that's two star cards and this is this advice from spirit the world and the star card this is Focus now on releasing things, burdens from the past. Keep focusing on getting rid of those um, illusions you had about yourself, the self-criticism you had about yourself, the lack of self-love you had about yourself, the understanding that you are a spiritual being having a human experience. And actually, you are the most extraordinary person. You are exactly where you're meant to be. You are so connected. You are so connected. Uh, and, and the star card is a, a beautiful card of hopes and blessings to come. So now we're going to um, look at, well, maybe I'm getting very, very confused. I do apologize. Those, because I pulled more than one card. What do you most want? Buy some spirit. Yes. So now we're going to look at the likely outcome, my darling. If you continue to take this, this route that you're on, this advice from spirit. ancestor this is your grounding this is your your you being your own guru this is you being your own wisdom keeper this is you connecting to guys this is this is forgiveness of um past traumas family traumas within your life this is gratitude for that for kind of cutting those ties as well it's a it's an extraordinary card look at the um Look at this, the mountains behind, re representing the journey you've been on to now, representing the quest. The snow talks about clarity. It talks about insight that you're receiving. And this is wonderful because the snow is melting here as well, and it's coming into spring. So this is a card for you to say that whatever it is that you are doing now is not just for you. It's it's almost like a generational um, trauma uh reactionary condition things that have been going on within your family line just like with so many other family lines but you have you're the one that sort of come along to break that to break that chain and to to release a lot of the weights of that past because you know when we have 
when we have responses as a child to things or things that we may have been taught, it's the same with our parents and their parents before them, their parents before them. And we just adopt sometimes what it is that our parents adopted when they were children. So it's the it's the understanding of that, that there are so many conditioned reactions in life that come from um, they come from a, a things that have not been healed within us, things that go back a very long time, hurts that go back a long time. And for the most part, although we think we're acting as an adult, we're mostly acting as a child when we get triggered by things. Um, thank you, Spirit. And the Eight of Pentacles popped up for you. This, keep working on this. This is the Eight of Pentacles. This is the focus on what you're doing now on your spiritual growth. You know, not wasting any energy on things you can't control, but actually focusing on you, you, what it is you love, your creative expression, what it is is the story you wish to tell. Um, really, really lovely cards. Oh, sorry, just drop that card. And I just want to pull one final one for you from the Sun and Moon Tarot. Thank you, Spirit. For Taurus. You are working hard, my darling. Look, three of pentacles, beautiful, and the nine of pentacles. Um, three and the nine, one on the bottom of the deck and one uh, that's popped out for you. So nine of pentacles on the bottom gain. There is so much you will gain. There is so much you will gather during this time. The nine of pentacles is soul family coming in for you. Um the healing that you're doing, the happiness that you're going to feel with these baby steps you're taking, just the relief of not trying to do things a certain way anymore, um, not trying to do it your way, but actually just trusting that things will unfold for you and what's meant for you will come in for you. And in the meantime, you're just going to enjoy your day and sit and smell the roses or the smell the sunflowers. Um, and then you've got the three of pentacles. You are going to be so busy and happy and creative and in a space of excitement and having bursts of energy to do what you love to do and this is this is this is also where you know when you're talking from spirit's voice when you're doing this that's your creative expression there is so much insight that comes in during that time um, and it's something different and it's something magical and it's something that you makes your heart sing and you you're almost wanting to do it all at once you know she can see she's sort of creating all three of those different patterns at once. There's so many ideas and thoughts and things that you you'll will want to do or looking to do now, just don't quite have the courage to do it. But that's okay because you're exactly where you're meant to be right now. So um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reading for you, my darling. Uh, I hope that it has helped those that it has resonated with. And I look forward to doing another reading for you within a couple of weeks. In the meantime, take care, my darling. So much love. Bye-bye.